Tonight, greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege, beloved and friends, once again to be here live on Facebook and YouTube to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness, regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of the world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic, my friends, that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He says in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. Welcome to my best name of Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. My friends and beloved family and relatives from the depth of my heart I release a blessing upon your life. Tonight I pray that God will bless your home, your homes. God will bless your marriage, not gay marriages, but God will bless marriage, your marriage, because God has created man and woman. God has created Adam and Eve and not Steve. There is no gay marriage to be blessed tonight. God will bless your marriage, man and wife tonight. God will bless your children. Only man and wife and woman can produce children. God will bless your children. God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. God will bless you on the job and give you promotion on the job. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me break it down tonight, my friends. I pray that God will bless you in every area of your life. Yes, I cover you under the precious blood tonight. And I build a hedge around your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover you under the precious blood. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious. And the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness, every spirit of witchcraft and obia and demonic forces and evil and blights and generational curses. When a first, second, third or fourth generational curses tonight I break in the name of Jesus. I break every chain. I break every barrier. I break every fetter in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, there is power in the blood of Jesus. And there is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, my friends and beloved, Jesus said in his words, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed, you are healed, we are healed. In Jesus' precious name, let's give him a big hand tonight. But let us understand that sinful devil, the devil who was cast down upon earth, yes, with one third of the angels causing havoc upon this planet earth today. That devil, he's a thief and a robber and a destroyer tonight. The thief committed, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that we might have life. Life and life more abundantly. My friends, tonight God wants you to walk in abundant life, but the devil wants to rob you of your health and your strength and your anointing and your power within you today in the mighty name of Jesus. But my friends, tonight is your night for a miracle. Tonight is your night for healing. And if you feel your hormones are running high, and you're born as a male, but you feel like a female. I pray tonight that God will heal you and set your hormones free tonight and bring back your hormone in order because God has not 
created any between. God has not created any homosexuals and any gay and lesbian, but God has created straight man and woman. When God made man, he breathed into man, he formed man out of dust, and man became a living soul. And then he put Adam into a deep sleep, and he take a rib from his side, and he formed woman. Yes, and man and woman, there is no between. There is no lesbian, there is no gays. But there is only man and woman, and any other is a spirit. Those who are acting like gays and lesbian is a spirit living inside of them. So no matter what the president has signed today, I will speak about that in a few minutes. That is that can be healed. God can set you free from those demons that are possessing you, that causing to live a life of lawlessness and wickedness and not living a right life today. In Jesus name, my friends and beloved, those of you who are sick unto death and the doctors have given you a bill of death to your family and says you will not live you will die i'm here to tell you as a prophet and as a man of god and as a healing minister tonight that you will not die but you will live you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not uh, finished with you as yet uh, if you're feeling a burning in your body God has already started a work uh, that's the work of God the Holy Spirit uh, that disease is in his burning out uh, that disease uh, that is plaguing you unto death uh, and he's burning out that sickness uh, in that cancer and AIDS uh, and that sickness and that virus and the germs uh, that is plaguing you unto death tonight uh, and you will live uh, and you will not die in Jesus name let's give him a big hand tonight uh, yes my friends uh, because we are serving a living God we are serving a healing God. He was beaten with 39 stripes for our sicknesses and pain and disease. According to medical doctors today, my friends, there are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease in a world that is plaguing mankind. And I believe from the depth of my heart that Jesus Christ took each stripe upon his back for the healing of those sicknesses and pain and disease those sicknesses and pain of disease is not of God yes sickness is not of God it is of the devil today and it shall be you shall be healed in the mighty name of Jesus let's give him a hand to my friends if you have cancer if you have cancer you have AIDS you are poor having COVID, diabetes, a heart problem, a liver problem, a lungs problem, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, if your hormones are running high and you can control it tonight, my friends, if you, whatever sickness you have, if you have a migraine headache, Tonight, my friends, if you're suffering from migraine headache, if you have high cholesterol, low cholesterol, if you have diabetes and, you, and a blood issue problem tonight, a blood dialysis problem, God will touch you and heal you if you have arthritis pain all over your joints in your arms in your legs in your fingers and all parts of your body tonight is your night for healing tonight is your night for a miracle tonight is your night for deliverance my friends and beloved if your demon possessed tonight and can't sleep in the night. Sir. I'm here to tell you that God will touch you and heal you and set you free from those demons, from every demonic forces. Those demons are that are harassing you are free right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, demons flee at the name of Jesus, and demons have to go at the name of Jesus and by by the blood of Jesus. Yes, those demons are leaving right now in the name of Jesus. My friends, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame tonight. Tonight is your night for healing and deliverance. If you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, all depression, anxiety tonight, tonight God will touch you and heal you and you will receive your miracle from the hands of God tonight. My friends, as I minister, I feel a tremendous anointing of the Holy Spirit. But I pray, Father God, you give me 
in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my voice, anoint my body, anoint my soul, anoint my spirit, anoint my mental faculties and my thought process. For I was born for this hour on this 13th day of December. I I was born to be here for this day to pronounce certain things in the mighty name of Jesus. And tonight I pray that God says in his words, healing is the children's bread. And tonight is your night. My friends, I know God says we as preachers and pastors and prophets must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But tonight I'm here to tell you God is no response of persons there is no limit there is no barrier there is no distance where God is concerned tonight and wherever you are tonight if you are in the USA you are in Canada you are in the UK the Caribbean or any part of this world and you understand my language tonight tonight is your night for for miracle tonight is your night for healing and tonight is your night for deliverance are you ready my friends are you ready to receive from the hands of God all you need tonight is a little faith as a grain of mustard seed and if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed you shall say to the mountains be thou removed and cast henceforth into the sea and it will obey you tonight in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name are you ready right now you will be healed in a few seconds yes right now in the name of Jesus right now be Heal in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see demons are fleeing right now. I, I see many are healed. Many are saved. Many are delivered for all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities. My friends and beloved, it is the power of God. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You are healed. <coughs> you are saved. You are set free for all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease tomorrow my friends go back to the doctors those who are sick unto death and let them check you that disease has left your body and you will not die but you will live let's give a lord for the healing tonight in the mighty name of jesus yes my friends praise god hallelujah praise the lord before I get into the word of God tonight on the 13th day of December on this night this prophet was born to pronounce certain things into this world I always speak about modern day Babylon and today my friends two weeks ago I preached a message and this prophet this last day prophet Indra Indra has warned the president of the United United States of America, Indra warned the United States President, do not sign that bill of same-sex marriage because God destroyed Sodom, um, Sodom and Gomorrah for that lawlessness and you made it effect today Mr. President, you have signed that bill but this prophet was born in the last days and I have my work to do. And you was born to do your work. And I was born to do my work. And I say today, the covering of God is of America. The covering of God is of America. This prophet has pronounced, you are signed the bill. But today, when I will not sign, but I click my finger. And as I click my finger, is the beginning of judgment on the modern day Bible. Babylon on America today because of what America has done. They have disobeyed God. They have torn their back against God. They have torn their backs on the word of God and did their own things. And because of that, God will destroy America. They will be the rule and reign of the Antichrist very soon. Yes, my friends. Yes, because the the judgment of God is already on America. God will pour brimstone and fire on that, on that country and that country will no longer be the superpower of the world any longer because they've sinned and presumptuous sin against God Almighty and His Word. Yes, and that's the reason God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and God will not spare modern day Babylon in the mighty name of Jesus. My friends and beloved, I'm here to tell you 
that the, what God has begun, yes, that has started from this day, the 13th day of December. Yes, my friends, there will be great disaster and there will be fall and America will fall and never rise again because of that great sin they have committed today in the mighty name of Jesus. But stop overthinking about everything, my friends, because God is in control. We are living in the last days. It's no surprise to anyone. These things have to happen in the last days for prophecy to be fulfilled and prophecy are being fulfilled and the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is very near and the rapture has to take place before the Antichrist rule and reign for the last seven years. So don't hurt your brains. Elon Musk is saying his brains is hurting and his heart is hurting. But tell you the truth as a prophet, this man has a good heart and I believe he will be saved. God will save him and he will end up in heaven because he's very much sincere. Yes, my friends, stop overthinking about everything. Yes, my friends, overthinking is not good for you. Taxing the brains is not good for you, my friends. Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 14 to 16 tells us, Stand therefore, stand therefore having your loins gored about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, my friends, taking the shield of faith, wherewith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Yes, my friends, the Bible is expressly clear. Our enemy, the devil, can't possess a believer. However, he, he and his evil, evil unclean spirit can exhort their influence over a believer. My friend Satan can constantly throw fiery darts onto an individual. You need to understand that your head is constantly bombarded by thoughts, thoughts, thoughts and thoughts all the time. Yes, and the brains just keep working in. Yes, if you are not careful, you will start believing those thoughts over the word of God. And this is something you need to understand today, my friends. Thoughts come and go. Your thoughts and ideas change on a daily basis. But uh, the word of God is unchanging today. There is a problem, my friends, of lot of saints battle with uh, you are not how you feel on a particular day, my friends. You are what God says. You are, my friends and beloved, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. They are some people who attempt to paint the picture that they are perfectly perfect and holy. But if we were to be honest this night, my friends, each and every one of us would not want every single one of us of the thought that cross our mind to be broadcast to the world. My friends, the Bible instructs us on how to deal with thoughts, thoughts that crop their heads up in our minds. Yes, my friends, Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 tells us, it says, casting down all uh, our imagination, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge against the knowledge of God and bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Jesus Christ. It is a battle in your mind, for instance, my friends, thoughts and condemnation. They are born again children of God who are plagued with the thoughts of condemnation, my friends. Every Every situation that happens, they overthink and meditate on the worst scenario. It's not so, for instance, if they commit a sin and they confess and repent of their sin. My friends, they're still having at the back of their minds thoughts of condemnation. Quote, God hasn't really forgiven you. Yes, God is still angry at you. You are no longer going to heaven. You are no longer a child of God. End quote. 
and they listen to these thoughts of condemnation rather than the word of God my friends for John chapter 1 verse 9 tells us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness the Bible has the blueprint here of what to do when you sin and yet you believe my friends that God will not honor his word tonight my friends that is the purpose of condemnation it wants to keep you in a place of continual guilt my friends a place where you cannot find forgiveness God doesn't operate on how you think tonight and how you feel my friends yes on his word he operates on his word his unchanging word get that into your mind tonight overthinking destroy lives there are people listening to me right now who those who lives are plagued with overthinking they struggle to sleep at night because of overthinking they struggle to even live in peace at, at any situation that arises in that your life. You think of the worst case scenario and that's not right tonight. Overthinking is not limited to unbelievers. Alone it is what Christians face too, my friends. And I believe more Christians face this too than you can ever imagine. The question that it starts, if it starts coming to your mind and you start seeking answers, which will put another horrible question and you keep worrying, worrying, allow me to read you a Bible verse tonight that shows you the nature of God. God, a verse that shows you the nature of the Almighty God, a Bible verse that shows you the character of God. Although my friends Jeremiah spoke these words to Jews who had been living under the denomination of Egyptians and then Babylonian empires before eventually being carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon, my friends, we get an insight to the character of God towards his people tonight. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, he says, for I know the plans I have for you. You are you declare the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you. you your plans to give you hope and a future, my friends. Sure enough, God has a plan for your life, my friends. Yes, He does tonight. Let's give Him a big hand. This is a biblical team that we will see the hand of God in people's lives, my friends. We even see that when people do these things towards you that are negative, God has the ability and the power to turn those negative things for good. Why? My friends, are you overthinking? My friends, God is not going to leave you high and dry tonight. God is not going to abandon you in the wilderness. God is not going to forsake you. What are you overthinking about if you are indeed a child of God? We know one thing for sure tonight. You have a happy ending and that ending is eternity with your father. My friends, why are you overthinking? God is not in the business of harming you. God is not in the business of trying to hurt you. He watches over you. Yes, my friends, and guide you through life. We need to recognize that overthinking and anxiety is something the devil the devil wants for you in your life he wants to take your attention from God tonight our challenge tonight is that we tend to look at the problems yes and situation that are direct in front of us and we fail to see the hands of the devil plan painting the what is taught is this is the secret of victory and realizing that if we, the devil and, and not the circumstances we must realize tonight 
that is that it is the devil who is trying to get us in the state of overthinking the reason why i'm so sure tonight that overthinking is not of God is because the fear attached, the fear attached to thinking. No one overthinks tonight and then feels renewed and, and empowered tonight. No people tend to overthink and then they feel fear and apprehensive. My friends, there are people who overthink so much so that it overtakes their life to the point that it steals their joy it steals their joy they always are just living in a constant state of overthinking my friends they play out every negative scenario over and over and over again in their minds yes as this dark cloud of fear just builds and builds and builds over their life my friends we know fear does not come from God yes we know that second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind yes sound mind instead of overthinking my friends pray tonight instead of focusing about that you can make a start to worry talk to God pray is amazing tonight because it clears your mind friend and help you to refocus refocus on the right thing right things when it seems like you're overthinking too much go to God in prayer yes and talk to him prayer is honestly a therapeutic and my friends allow me to talk to men for a moment because I can relate to other men because I'm a man but as men as men we struggle to talk when we are worried we can to battle things in and just deal with the situation. We struggle to ask for help. We struggle to even show signs of weaknesses. My friends, but one thing that I have found to help men in life is prayer. Prayer, my friends, it is better better than therapy tonight to be able to go on your knees to your maker and be vulnerable to your Lord. Yes, thy God. Yes, First Peter chapter 5 and verse 7 says, Casting all your tears, casting all your tears for your tears of all your anxiety, all of your worries and all of your concern, and once and for all on him. For he cares for you. Give him a hand tonight with deepest affection and watches over you. Very carefully, we cast all our cares on him. He cares for you. Cast them all into him tonight. My friends, he cares so, so as soon as the thought, quote, what is, is this happening, comes, my friends. Just stop yourself and talk to your father. Yes, my friends in heaven, as soon as different unhealthy scenarios come into you, your minds just stop yourself and talk to your father in heaven and secondly read the word of God my friends God will always talk to us while reading his word instead of allowing overthinking to get the best of you you can read the word of God there is power in the word of God that can soothe your soul my friends the Bible has the answer to every single problem you will face in life, every question you have, the answer in this book, the reason overthinking comes is that we try to predict the future. We think we can analyze the future by thinking our way through. When we try to predict the future, it brings questions that we seek to answer by thinking again. Instead of trying to predict the future, we can trust God. Trust God and He will make all, all things great tonight. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, 28 tells us, 
And we know that all things work together for good for them that love the Lord and who are called according to his purposes. My friends, you may not know the future, but you know who holds the future tonight. God knows the future. Leave it in his hands. Listen, my friends, to me tonight. I do not know what you are going through tonight. I do not know what you are overthinking tonight. I don't know how bad it looks, but one thing I do know tonight is that you have a God who sits high and looks low. Let's give him a big hand. One thing I do know is that you have a Father in heaven. And like the psalmist says, like a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him tonight. Instead of trying to predict the future, my friends, we can trust in the God who holds your future tonight. Trust God tonight, for your future is in his hand. And your life is in his hands tonight, my friends. It has been a great joy and privilege on this 13th day of December 2022, a day in history of all mankind, a day in history for over 13 billion years, a day of history, America created history in the universe. Today, my friends, today is a day of history. And today is the, the judgment of God has begun. My friends, God bless you richly. Do, do have a great and wonderful day. And remember, I am not a prophet of gloom and doom. But I speak on behalf of the great I am who created the universe, the whole world, not only this planet. I speak on behalf of the great I am, the almighty, in Jesus' precious name. Tonight, I love you very much in the love of God. God bless you richly. Do have a sweet night dress. I'll see you in the morning in Jesus' precious name. By the grace of God, God bless you richly again in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.